so you talked about a few different concepts and terms last session or when we had our, our kind of free call. You talked about setting branding. I'm looking at my notes here too. Funneling, yeah. offers, lead magnets, content, et cetera. Mm-hmm. I guess if we could go through an example, and I was trying to log into my Instagram page on my computer, but I couldn't do it for some reason. I don't know if, if you looked at my Instagram page and we looked at, for example, I have a post there on which one should I pick? I feel like, honestly, the one I want to do is kind of blurry on my page now that I'm looking at it. But I'm just curious what the process would look like or what you would have in mind to turn right. something like that into. Let me see. What's your page again? So it's freelance finance. All right. So which one are we talking about? I see if there's one that's a little more clear to read that. Let's see. Which one could we do? So we're looking at the sec the second most recent post. All right. If you can see it. Absolutely. Let me just share my screen with you as well. Thank and if you. not, we can always go. There's a link in my I'm blanking on what it's called in the, the caption or whatever. If it's hard to read there, we can go through. So I guess I'm just trying to get an idea. So yeah, the second one. This one right here. Gotcha. Yeah. I don't know if I create. That, I mean, first of all, I, I can already see that it's blurry, which is an issue in itself. Mm-hmm. And then second, if you can't read it, you can just click the link where it says, all right, this one. Well, copy and paste it, yes, and that'll sir. take you to the actual article. I guess, again, just looking for example, or a rough idea of how you would turn that or how you would envision turning something like that. So with that one, since this is a lot of information, yeah. um, there would be two ways you can do it. One of the ways we really maximize the content we put out is not by just doing it in one form because people tend to consume content differently. They learn differently. So for something like this, we can do it one as a carousel, then we would break it up into smaller chunks and have it slide by slide. And then the other way would be to simplify it so like take the main heading what is it use budgeting and expense tracking tools employ role based budgeting we would take those and turn it into something simple like this where it would just be how to avoid lifestyle creep one two three and then we would take probably the rest of the information and summarize it in a sense and use that as the caption got it okay and then i guess as far as like the actual real i, I guess i struggle to understand what that would look like would that be like and i know it can vary right i'm sure there's different ways you can go out of it like if you can give me a vision or idea of what that would be so I like I see this. So is that mm-hmm. would it just be random kind of B roll in the Those background? And just, mm-hmm. got it. Okay. So B roll, it can be you at the office, it can be you with the family. And there's different ways you can play with it so that it helps to build uh that relationship with your audience. But that just kind of B-roll content, whether it's out at dinner, you walking around, playing with your kids, at work, on the computer, like there's so many different ways you can do it. But yeah, just taking some footage like that. And that's why it's easy for us to really like kind of create that in batches because we can have you upload a bunch of different videos to a Google Drive folder. We'll just go in there and pull them out and just put the text over the screen same way and then just have them all ready and flush out a good caption for it. Got it. Okay. So it's really, I guess when I did my YouTube channel, what I did was for like the thumbnails, I just took like a bunch of pictures of myself Mm -hmm. and different like poses or whatever and kind of rotated through those as thumbnails. Mm -hmm. I guess is that the similar concept to at least what you're referring to is, you know, I would just have a bunch of different B-rolls and some, you know, obviously every video wouldn't be the same B-roll. Yeah, but there probably would be some overlap over time of what's getting used is that it really depends because you can always be adding more videos to the folder so we can just always have a constant fresh batch of clips to be working with if we find one that works really well like i don't know how their performance is these days but like a year or two years ago videos with teslas in the background always did really well for some reason it was teslas just always made people keep watching <laughs> so if, if we find ones that work or we see like oh this is getting good results let's try it again with a different text on screen to see if this is something that really works like it right. would just be testing the seat, but also keeping it fresh with new content would really help with that. Got it. Okay. Now that's really helpful. Cause like I said, I think the real idea and concept has just always been a struggle for me. Like I said, mm-hmm. my wife and I have talked about it, but as far as like having a vision or knowing what to do to execute on that, I think has been a struggle. And I think the ideas that you have and what it sounds like you guys offer would obviously be beneficial to someone who like me also, who isn't, I don't necessarily have that creative mind all in this subject, I should say. Absolutely. Okay. Um, I guess another question question I have is, so I've also read books on financial coaching and I don't expect you to be a financial coaching expert at all. I know you're more of like content and whatnot, but something that gets talked about, even when I went to school, honestly, what I got what I talked about in marketing class was the idea of having a target audience. And I think you brought up some of the same concept too. And I think, I guess just trying to get your view or insight. So my 
challenge with a target audience is it to me it feels like you're limiting your customer base and like let's say i say i want to target i don't know 19 to 30 year olds and then i have couples who reach out to me or older people who reach out to me i struggle with i guess i also want to connect I, sh I should reframe it i also want to connect with couples and or older individuals as well like i don't necessarily want my business to target only a certain group but i don't really understand how you go about setting a target audience or what that looks like generally so the reason why having a target audience is impactful is because there's a saying in marketing if you try to sell to everyone you'll sell to no one because okay. you have to water down your message you have to water down your content to appease a lot of people and you're not able to be as specific think about it like this if i'm a fitness trainer right yeah and I post a piece of content that says five tips to lose belly fat. Mm -hmm. That's good. Like that's helpful. But if I post something that says five tips for new moms who want to get rid of baby weight, that's a lot more powerful when it comes to targeting a specific audience. Yeah. And that content would just register more. Now for you, you said you don't want to specifically focus on or like just limit to one group. A lot of times your ideal target audience is going to be your best customers. That's who you want to start off with. But you don't only have to have one profile that you're focusing on. Mm -hmm. So you can create content that's geared towards a younger demographic a young crowd but you can also put out content that's geared towards couples but being clear about who those audiences are what they're struggling with what they're looking for what kind of results they're looking for and understanding what language is going to resonate with them that's yeah. where it comes in with understanding who that audience is yeah yeah that makes sense and i guess to your point i think you, you said you know if you're a fitness person instructor and you're trying to target new moms for example like whatever wording you use it just felt more like the word i would use is more personal personal like i feel like there's more of a connection to someone who is in that space. Whereas, mm -hmm. like you said, where it's like five ways to lose body fat or belly fat, it's like, yeah, it applies to everybody, but it doesn't feel as like personal. So now that makes sense. I think I've been so reluctant over the past couple of years to like really set a target audience. But I'd also like the saying you said, if you try to sell everyone, you sell to no one. It's, I mean, it makes sense. I think it's hard for me to accept, but I think it. And what's happening, it's, it sounds scary like you're going to exclude these people, but what yeah. it really does is just it draws in much more, a lot more of that crowd, people who resonate with that message or with that marketing, and that is going to help you reach a bigger audience. Because a lot of times with the more general content where you're trying to speak to everybody, you might get leads or you might get people who are potentially interested, but they might not be a good fit for you. Right, right. So right. it's not just about talking to the right audience, but talking to the audience that's going to be a great fit for you. And then once yeah. you get one audience down, you can expand and say, okay, now I want to talk to this audience as well. And then yeah. it's not so much about just focusing on one group, but just having a targeted message that speaks to a specific group. Got that it. So, okay. So you're not saying this, let's say I said I want to target college students, right? You're not saying that every post I would ever have would have to only be targeted towards college students. Not at all. A single individual post at least should have a very personal and targeted message where it's like hey this is for these guys or these people right here and that's what you're saying is that a good way to say it yep okay. absolutely and you can think about it like even seasonally if you do taxes or you do notaries as well you might be really focused on getting people for tax clients but you still do these other things that you can talk about the rest of the year and help right, right. That authority that that makes sense yeah. Yeah, yeah, no, that makes perfect sense. No, yeah, I don't know why that didn't click for me before, but that is yeah. actually really helpful. Trust me, you're not the only one. Because that, <laughs> that's one of the things you're like, well, I don't want to just limit who I'm selling to. But when you're yeah. trying to talk to a lot, it doesn't hit as hard. But when you're talking to like kind of a one-on-one, -on -one, I'm speaking directly to you. Yeah, and it's like it's personal, like you said. Yeah, and even if I think about something like an old Navy commercial, like they might have a commercial where it's like all women and women's clothes, but that doesn't mean that they're just always only like they sell clothes to everybody, right? So some commercials yeah. are, are different, or even They'll have the boy shorts in the summer and right, right, day. yeah, yeah. No, that actually makes perfect sense. I, I don't know why. Yeah, no, that's really helpful. I appreciate that explanation and insight. Another question that I had is as far as offer ideas, like you said, that would you encourage or part of what you do as part of the package is help us come up with an offer i guess or a lead is the offer and lead magnet are those kind of the same thing the lead magnet will be determined by the offer so we will figure out the offer first and then we would figure out a lead magnet that's going to directly lead people to that offer got it the offer isn't referring to like the final services that i'm providing like the free so you know, the best way i can would explain the offer is a lot of people are like commoditized they try to sell their service they do taxes they do hair they sell wigs right. which is good but a lot of people sell wigs a lot of 
of people do text. I was just talking to somebody last week and she provides services for like for business owners who are just getting started, making sure they're all set up. They have the right paperwork and everything like that. And right. she was going about it selling like, oh, we do consulting. We provide virtual assistance services, things like that. But having an offer makes you stand out from the crowd. It makes you, I can't find this anywhere else. I can't find this package anywhere else. So for her, I told her, so instead of offering coaching, you help business owners make sure they're set up for success. You have a package and what really helps is giving it like a custom name, something like you literally can't Google it and find somebody else who's selling this package, but it's very specific and you're not going to find this anywhere else. And it provides a specific result or transformation. Like for us, our package, our offer is that we help service-based entrepreneurs get more clients and leads in less than 120 days. Very specific transformation that you're going to get and having a specific timeline that you're going to get it in tends to add more power to it because they don't pay for the product. They don't pay for the service. They pay for the transformation. They pay yeah. for what their life is going to be like after they get the service or the product. So we would come up with like an offer that makes sense for you, your audience, and the services that you provide for something that we can package together. And that can be yeah. a combination of your services, maybe some templates, guys. There's different ways to structure it, but that would be kind of it in a nutshell. Yeah. Okay. The one part of it that the lang of the language that you specifically that I kind of struggle with is the idea of saying something so absolute, which I can see for you specifically. I definitely see the vision and why. I think for me, the time frame in which people get their finances into a stable position or into a place where they're succeeding significantly varies person for person. Absolutely. Well, it's hard to like someone might be if someone comes to me with twenty thousand dollars in credit card debt, but the process is very different compared to someone who comes to me with a thousand dollars of credit card debt, or someone who has a salary of a hundred thousand dollars. It's very different than someone who comes to me with a salary of. $40,000. So I'm just curious of how that kind of message could be transformed or rephrased or rewrote to fit such a wide variety of circumstances. And this ties back into the audience, because when you're targeting a specific group mm -hmm. and you know, you're helping them with a specific solution, this package was literally made for you. Right. I made this for you. And what we would be discussing on those first couple calls is figuring out who it is that you're trying to work with or what results you can provide and figuring out how that will make sense in the market. That usually yeah. includes doing market research, see what people are struggling with, see what other people are offering, just to see like, how can we construct this package to where this is something unique. You can't find this. This is something unique for Lance, and this is going to help you get this result. And it doesn't necessarily have to have a time frame attached to it, but being able to say, I will help you get out of debt, or I'll work with you for the next six months until we do. Like, there's yeah. different ways you can add that guarantee or that trust factor to get people to take the step, but right. that's all just about like working in and figuring not what works best yeah no that makes sense because even like now i'm thinking it through let's say i have a target a certain target right so i begin to work with that audience and they become clients i think that i would also have a better probably an easier and better prop and better idea of how long it takes that audience exactly. to achieve certain goals turns starts providing you oh i was able to get this person this result let me see if i can help you do the same and right. it becomes easier to sell that year right okay no that makes a lot of sense okay and then ideally you want to do a package where you can productize the service so you're doing the same thing consistently. Like you're not having to do custom jobs and custom things for people because you've picked out the services that they're going to need. This is the process and this is how we're going to go through it. It doesn't have to be, oh, I need to figure out this custom thing for you because I know this is the package. This is the results you're going to get. Yeah. Let's go through it. Okay. No, that makes sense.